As you all know, I had very low self-esteem and low self-worth for a very, very long period of time. And that is because of my past, my childhood trauma, and also because of me, I guess. So there are a lot of factors and I'm not blaming on anybody because nobody is perfect. But it was so bad that I thought that I didn't deserve the things that I got. Like for instance, when I had or receive student loans, I'm like, no, why should I get it? Why don't others get it who actually work and who deserve it more than me? And the thing is, yes, there will always be someone who has it worse than you. That's just the fact. It's a reality. But that doesn't mean that you should not grasp the opportunity that is right in front of you. If you're doing that, then that just means that you have low self-worth. Or let's say one of the reasons. You have what you have because there is no actually an explanation for it. It's just you're lucky. That's it. You have what you have and you should supposed to, you should supposed to, <laughs> you're supposed to grasp it and make the best out of it. I know this sounds so simple and maybe duh, but for me it was not a duh because I had low self-esteem, I had low self-worth and I just thought I didn't deserve any of it. And maybe another reason is not only because of the low self-worth and low self-esteem, but because I didn't really have control over my life and because I was taking another path that I didn't really want to be in. Therefore, I thought getting student loans for a path that I didn't want to be on doesn't make much sense. So I thought I didn't deserve it. You know what I mean? <sighs> Maybe I should take English lessons. But yeah, overall, I just want to say that you're amazing. And if you have internet and you can watch this, you are already very lucky because with the help of internet and just a phone with a camera because I assume that you have a phone with a camera <laughs> you can do a lot you're lucky in many ways and please don't ever ask yourself did I deserve this why me why just take it as it is and make the best out of it so that you can help others and that's how I think about everything now. So please, for the love of God, love yourself. Like really love yourself. I, I, I know, it's a cliche. And just hearing it won't really change it. Maybe sometimes you have to go through it yourself, this phase of not loving yourself, so that you can appreciate how it actually is when you do love yourself. I love you all, I really do. And the fact that you're still here watching this, even though I've been not consistent again, means a lot. All right, see you in the next one.